So this is our topic this morning. Our topic this morning is the right place at the right time. The right place at the right time. The Elisha and Elijah story. Let's begin by reading 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 1, hanggang verse 14. When the Lord was going to take Elijah to heaven in a windstorm, Elijah and Elisha left Gilgal. Now, take note of this. Uh, tandaan po natin that Elijah is a prophet of God. Isa siya pong uh, propeta ng Diyos. And then Elisha is also a prophet of God. Verse 9, while they were crossing, Elijah asked Elisha, What shall I do for you before I am taken from you? Elisha answered, Let me inherit a double share or a double portion of your spirit. Verse 10, Elijah said, You have asked for something difficult. If you see me taken from you, it will be yours. Otherwise, it will not. Now, notice how Elijah said, uh, you, you asked for a difficult thing. Hindi niya ibig sabihin na mahirap ibigay. Ang sinasabi niya, mahirap para sa iyo yan. You are asking for something hard. You see, you're asking for double what I have. Ibig sabihin, that means double responsibility on your part. And then verse number 11 says, As they continued walking and talking, a fiery chariot with fiery horses separated the two of them. And Elijah went to heaven in a windstorm. When Elisha saw this, he cried out, Master, Master, Israel's chariot and horses. When he couldn't see Elijah anymore, he grabbed his own garment and tore it in two to show his grief. So nalungkot na ngayon si Elisha. Then he picked up Elijah's coat, which had fallen off Elijah, went back and stood on the bank, of the Jordan River. He took the coat and struck the water with it. He asked, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? As he struck the water, it divided to his left and to his right, and Elisha crossed the river. In other words, malalaman po natin that the anointing o yung kakayanan ni Elijah ay napunta na po kay Elisha. Symbolic through the coat that was left behind by Elijah. And then the initial uh, indication na napunta sa kanya yung anointing or yung kakayanan is when he struck the water or the river Jordan and the same thing happened. Kung ano yung kinaya ni, ni Elijah, yun din ang kinaya ni Elisha. He divided the water. Elisha had to be at the right place at the right time in order to receive that blessing. We must be at the right place at the right time. Dapat nandun tayo sa tamang lugar at sa tamang oras. And we'll discuss this in a moment. Because see, there are, there are a lot of things that we don't understand as Christians. That God places us in places and He wants us to be at a certain place. Be there for a certain reason. I have a question for you. Ang tanong ko po sa inyo again, can God talk to us anywhere? Yes, indeed, champre naman. Pero, I'll prove to you this morning that there are certain areas in our life, areas, specific areas, lugar kung saan God will speak to you in a personal way. I'll show you in the Bible. Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 1, hanggang verse 2, we are reading from the Living Bible. Here is another message to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the shop where clay pots and jars are made, and I will talk to you there. Okay, let me share that. Let me read that again. Here is another message to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the shop where clay pots and jars are made, and I will talk to you there. Jeremiah 18, verse 1, hung on verse 2, the potter and the clay. Verse 1 says, The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, Arise and go down to the potter's house. And there, I will make you hear my words. Now, some of you didn't, you didn't have to be here this morning. Hindi naman kailangan, nandito kayo ngayong umaga. You had a choice of an 8 a.m. service, and you have a choice of a 5 p.m. service. But you're here now, kasi God has a particular message for you. 
Hindi ibig sabihin walang mensahe ang Diyos kay Pastor Arnel and kay Pastor Jesse. But I'm saying that there's personal messages for you right now. That's why you are here. You know, we believe that God can provide wherever we are. Kayang kumilos ang Panginoon kahit saan pa tayo. However, God wants you to be exactly where He wants you to be. This is so serious, mga kapatid. You see, I see it time and time uh, that people choose places, jobs, because mas maganda yung trabaho, mas maganda yung finances, mas maganda yung environment. But that doesn't always mean it's always better. Amen. I'll give you a biblical example. When um, Abraham and uh, what's the name of his cousin? Lot, so thank you. When Abraham and Lot made a decision, ang decision ay, kasi pares na silang sobrang yaman. If you know the story, uh, if you don't know the story, just listen. Paraw na silang masyadong maraming kayamanan and they could no longer live together on this one land. So what uh, they decided na maghiwalay na tayo ng landas, ikaw pumunta ka kung saan mo gusto at kung saan yung isa pupunta, sasalungat naman yung isa. And Abraham, in his maturity, he said, Lot, you make the, the, the first decision. Ikaw nang bahala mag-decide. And wherever you go, I will go the opposite. Etong si Lot, pinili niya yung lugar na kung saan mukhang masagana. You know, vegetation, everything, uh, water, lahat yan masagana. Pero what he didn't know was what he chose was what would become Sodom and Gomorrah. And you know the what happened to the life of Lot. Alam niya naman yung kwento, yung asawa niya naging asin. And uh, you know, he just ruined his life. Pero you all know the life of Abraham, in which our faith now is connected to him because he chose not based on what looks good and seems uh, beneficial. He chose where God wanted him to be. So it's not always choosing the best place uh, will, will bring you to the, bless, the, the best finances, the best blessings of God. We have to hear God. Pakinggan natin ang Diyos lagi. Huwag natin pakinggan kung ano yung beneficyo na pwedeng ibigay sa atin. We need to be at the right place at the right time. Amen. While we are signing the contract, if you see the guy in blue, ano pangalan niya? Alvin. You see Alvin yung nandun sa... His phone was ringing. Nagri ring yung kanyang cell phone while Pastor Jesse is going over the contract, signing the paper. Bakit kaya nagri ring yung cell phone? There's another company here in Alongapo that wants this building. Willing to pay five years in advance at a higher price than what we are paying. Could you imagine? Five years in advance at a high... Ang tawad nila pataas, hindi pa baba. Because they really want this place. Kasi it's ideal for them. We were signing the contract when this phone was ringing. Eh kung nagpahuli pa kami, ay Sabado na lang natin gawin, nakakatamad eh. Tapos tayo, ang tawad pa baba, syempre, Kristiano tayo eh. <laughs> syempre, sino ba naman lukulokong tatawad pa taas? Sorry for the word. <laughs> so kami, siyempre tayo, pababa ang tawa, tapos kung ano-ano pang hinihingi. Ito, itong company na to, malaking company ito, sinasabi ko sa inyo, mayaman. And they're willing to pay five years advance at a higher price. If we weren't here at the right place, at the right time, saan tayo ngayon? Andun pa rin po tayo sa Jackson o kaya sa, sa Subak. Just to let you know, what we were paying at Subak, once a week natin ginagamit, we were paying more there than we are here. Pagsamahin niyo po yung kuryente dito tsaka doon halos parehas. Pero what we were paying just to use Subak once a week for two hours or so, yun din ang binabayad po natin yun. So could you imagine how good God is? But we have to be at the right place at the right time. God deals with us at the right place at the right time. Why? Bakit kaya? Why is it so important? Bakit kaya? Isipin nyo mayigit. Because God is into specifics 
in terms of his relationship with you and me. He wants you to be exactly where he wants you to be. And if you are there, then he'll meet you there. If you're not there, pasensyahan na lamang. Like for us, kayo din ang kawawa, tayong lahat. If, 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 if we weren't there at that right place at the right time, we wouldn't be here right now. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, this is a beautiful verse. Verse 11. I don't think many of you have read this verse. But read it today. Take note of it. I think it's in your uh, service programs. Again, I look. This is Solomon speaking. Again, I looked throughout the earth and saw the swiftest person does not always win the race. Nor the strongest man the battle. And that wise men are often poor. And skillful men are not necessarily famous. But it is all by chance, by happening to be at the right place at the right time. Being exactly where God wants you to be. That's where it all comes from. That's where the intervention of God comes from. That's where the blessing of God comes from. It's you being right there where God called you to be. Hindi dahil mahusay ka, hindi dahil mayaman ka, dahil matalino ka. It's, it's just being where God wants you to be. Amen. Kapag tayo ay napunta sa maling lugar, ng maling panahon, then I can, re- I can assure you that the blessing and intervention of God will cease in this church. It will cease. Titigil ang pagkilos ng Diyos once you and I stop being at the right place at the right time. Now, it's not just physical things. It's your mind. Nasa tamang lugar ba yung pag-iisip mo? Is it at the right place? And at this time, are you thinking on exactly what God wants you to think about? Your spiritual uh, condition. Is your spiritual condition exactly where God wants you to be? O nauhuli tayo? We have to be at the right place at the right time. When we are in the right place at the right time, God is able to provide and intervene. When we are in God's place at God's time, God is able to provide and intervene. My last slide for you this morning is obedience is the key. Amen po. Obedience is the key. Be there where God wants you to be. You see, I guarantee you, when you're there, God is there. But when you're not there, kawawa po tayo. We won't, we won't experience God's intervention and God's blessing. Now, for some of you, you're getting this. Naintindihan nyo kasi, you know, you have experiences and things happen in your life. You understand where I'm coming from. Some of you, medyo bago sa inyo to. But just, just take note of this. One of these days, this very message, maaalala nyo. When something happens in your life and you realize, I had to be there because God wanted me there. I want you to please uh, take note of this. You know, be more serious about what God wants to do in your life. You see, He wants you to be at the right place at the right time in order for God to move in your life. And ang kabaligtaran nito, as I come to a close, ang kabaligtaran nito, when you're at the wrong, wrong place, at the wrong time, uh, things, bad things can happen. Let's not make choices based on what we think is right, but let's make choices based on what God knows is right. Amen po? So, kung meron akong ishare sa inyo today is we be sensitive to when God is speaking to us. Amen po?